It's Saturday night evening, June 10th, 2017. Uh, this weekend I've been camping out at Pasico Pally Road. I think this is campsite, I don't know, four or five or six, somewhere around there. The uh, campsite logo is gone, but uh, yeah, this is a long-standing campsite. I've camped out a lot in the past. I'm sure it's still a designated campsite. Just someone stole the thing. Pasico Pally Road, it was pretty wet earlier. It's uh, dried out a bit now. Uh, the shoulders are definitely soft. You wouldn't want to get too far off of them. And I'm going to take you for a walk back into the campsite. I know we don't use lights so it gets a little darker out, but I figured I'd turn them on to show them. Um, yeah. Rearranged the flag some from earlier. This looks a little better, I think, visually. I like the flag. They just add so much color to the campsite. Definitely real pretty. I cooked dinner a little earlier. People say, well, why do you bring two two coolers when you're only going to be out in the woods for two nights in the summer? Well, most of it's ice. I mean, it's tough because, you know, I pack on Friday morning and the ice sits in my truck where the cooler is all day long in the heat. So I try to park in the shade and I try to keep it as cool as possible. But, you know, I want my food to be cool. And I'd rather bring two coolers and have extra ice and not have food go bad than have food go bad. And there also is my new uh, shelf that I got, uh, or the new uh, storage box I found on the street corner somewhere is cleaned up, and uh, now has all my camping stuff. Really helps keep things organized. Uh, I found the remote for the color changing lights. Somehow I misplaced it last night. I actually, just didn't misplace. It. I just forgot where I put it. Uh, tonight's color is purple, and I might change it again. I have you know many colors to choose from, and I also have the different blinking modes. I don't like blinking modes; they're a little obnoxious, so. I'm not going to use them more than than I need to. Um, yeah, there's the truck cap. And that's pretty much cleaned up for the night. Just pulled the bedding gear out. And uh, I sleep there. I don't leave the shotgun in the rack at night after I go to bed. I usually sleep next to it for safety. And I would say don't leave the ammunition in the truck when the shotgun has to be out and loaded when, every time I'm uh, when it's on a, on a motor vehicle or state law. So it's it's unloaded. I keep ammunition on me. You know, it's mostly in case of a, I don't know, bear or something comes and starts harassing me. A couple bang bangs can, you know, without harming the bear, you can chase them away pretty quickly. Not that I've ever had that much of a bear, bear thing. I've also just like the, looking at my shotgun. It was just my 20 gauge that I have with me. Um, yeah, so look around the campsite. I don't have the propane lamp on. It's still fairly light out, but, uh, uh, it hooks off the big tank, same thing that runs the stove, and the winter all is my heater. Um, 20 gallon tank, you know, it's 10, 12, 13, 14 bucks to get filled. And then I have pro propane for a good portion of the summer for both cooking and light. I use propane lighting because it's uh, a lot cheaper to use than the truck gas lighting. You use the inverter, it's definitely, you know, I don't charge the battery every once in a while. And also, if for some reason the low voltage disconnect kicks in, all I have to do is, uh, you know, the lights of light to start to walk back to the truck and turn it on to have things reset. Well, I hope you enjoyed our video. I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, that's my camping experience for uh, June 10th, uh, the evening, uh, 2017. Thank you.